Good morning everyone, the MMDA are back on the road dealing with illegally parked vehicles trying to clear the alternative routes of EDSA Sorry it's a little bit noisy but they're trying to get the attention of the drivers If they come out in time it's just a ticket, if they don't come out in time it will be towed away And you can see they're also looking at the vehicles on this side for the same reason A few drivers have already taken tickets and moved their vehicles but the rest of these could potentially get towed away because no one's come out so far I'm not sure what's going on over here I think they're trying to wake up a sleeping driver oh, in fact I think they're worried that he's not just asleep maybe there's something wrong with him his license must have been confiscated because he's handed over an OVR aside from the cars on the road they're also looking at motorcycles here on the sidewalk uh, again if the drivers don't come out in time take a ticket and move them they can be towed away you can see over here the flatbed's already getting in position to take away this one I don't know if they'll also put some motorcycles on there. No drivers come out for this one yet. So you can see they're already hooking up the tow bar ready to take it away. For this vehicle over here, they've been talking to the driver for a long time. I think he's looking for his license. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see if he manages to find it or not. If he can't show a license, the assumption would be that he doesn't have one and therefore the vehicle would be impounded. The driver for this red car did come out, but unfortunately they'd already connected the tow bar to the car. So that's considered too late basically and it's a towed vehicle and up goes the red one now and over here you can see they've already connected the tow bar to this one also ready to be taken away here you can see another motorcycle going on the back of a tow truck there's already a couple on there they asked to see this guy's license because they saw him riding without a helmet uh he tried to walk away a couple of times but they're still asking the driver's walking away now, so most likely they're impounding this vehicle on the assumption that he doesn't have a driver's license. So just to catch you up on what happened, the enforcer saw the motorcycle on the road out here, no helmet. He asked the driver, please stop. Uh, the driver looked at him, kept going, kept going, went inside here. Then the enforcer said to him, can I see your license? Uh, he started going through his paperwork and stuff, and then he just simply walked away. Then somebody else came out, um, but they're not the driver, so they really want the one that was driving to come out. Right now a police officer and the guard are going to try and find the guy, he still hasn't come out so far. Okay, here they come now. Hi, go by one? Oh, bakit ka tumakbo? Hindi pa ako tumakbo, sir. Tumasok lang pa ako sa loob. Kaya nga. Hindi, ang ibig sabihin, dumalayo ka sa enforcer na nanguhuli sa'yo. Tumakbo ka, naglakad ka, lumayo ka, pare-pareho lang yun. Pag in-apprehend ka, may lisensyado ka ba? Okay, alam mo ba yung lisensya mo? I-privilege lang. Privilegio lang yan, hindi mo karapatan yan. Pag yan, in ka, kailangan kang sumunod sa instructions ng enforcers. Di ba pinara ka? Okay, anong ginawa mo? Huminto naman pa ako. Huminto ka, tapos? Magano lang pa ako. Tapos? Nakompleto ba natin yung apprehension? Magkula yung pinara ka. Na kompleto? Na issue ang kabarang ticket? Ay, wala po. Hindi, di ba? Bakit hindi ka na issue ng ticket? <laughs> Bakit hindi ka na issue ng ticket? <laughs> Dahil lumayo ka. Naglakad, tumakbo, lumayo. Nakatakot ako. nga. Bakit ganun? Eh, natakot lang ako. Eh. Takot ka. Ang dami yun dito. Isa yung enforcer. So, yung, yung mga... Ano yun ha? Yung tatandaan nyo yung, yung lisensya nyo, privilegio. So pag hiningi ng enforcer yan because sa pa-violation, hindi ka naman kinukoto. Kinukoto ka ka ba? Ha? O, ibig sabihin, lawful instructions, lawful apprehension. May helmet ka ba? Suot kanina. Wala, di ba? So alam mo kung bakit ka pinapara. Okay. So bakit tayo lalayo? Dahil nasa compound ka, hindi ka namin nabulin? Hindi po, sir. Ano yun? Nag-LPM lang po kasi ako, sir, kaya pumasok po ako. Okay. Sinabi mo ba yan sa enforcer? Hindi po. Okay. So, paano namin malalaman? Tama. Di ba? So, pag kayo, sa susunod na pinara kayo, sumunod sa instructions. Lawful instructions naman yan. Hindi naman kayo kinukotongan. Hindi naman kayo hinihingan ng pera. Di ba? E ba't tayo hindi sumusunod? Ngayon, pag hinihingan ka ng pera, kinutong ka, yan, isumbong mo sa akin. Sisibakin natin yan. Pero pa, as long as lawful yan, wala, walang, ano, walang reason para tumakbo kayo o lumayo. Ayaw mo kasi tumakbo eh, naglakad ka lang. Pero lumayo ka. Tama? Eh, ayaw naman pasukin to ng lusubi naman to ng enforcer namin. At sugurin ka doon. Hindi kami ganun eh. Okay. Pwede ba mahingi yung lisensya mo? Ah... Uh, 
Para pa, hindi okay lang 'yun. Uh, sa susunod kaya nga binibigyan kita ng ano no ng uh, paalala no na para sa susunod hindi mauulit 'yan. Kasi makikita mo naman legitimate naman yung operations namin naka uniform yung mga enforcers natin. Di ba? So you can see one side of the road is already completely clear and they're just finishing up on the other side. Right now the sidewalk clearing team have come in to take a look at this. It's a tree house, a literal tree house uh, here in the middle of Metro Manila, interestingly. And there you go, the last piece of wood being removed and the tree is clear again. Over here they've stopped a motorcycle, the back rider isn't wearing a helmet, the driver's handed over his license so they'll just issue a ticket and then tell his passenger that he has to go down. Right now they're looking at all these tricycles here, they want to verify if this is a legitimate terminal or not and they're asking the homeowners or business owners to remove these uh, tables and chairs and stuff like that, they're obstructing the sidewalk. This tricycle here is being impounded because it's non-functioning. It was parked there at the terminal. Uh, they're still verifying if that's a legitimate terminal. But since it's non-functioning and no one's come out to claim it, it's being taken away to clear it as an obstruction. And the sidewalk clearing team have been confiscating stuff that's been left either in the road or on the sidewalk. And this here is an interesting construction. You can see they've created a platform up there where the post comes out into the road here. So, Cesar, what's going to happen with this one? I will issue a violation ticket because of this uh, illegal uh, extended structure. So they have to pay the ticket yeah. and then they have to remove yeah. the structure. What happens if they don't remove the structure? They will not remove this uh, structure. Our team will be removed that structure. Right now the sidewalk clearing team are moving in to try and clear this vulcanizing shop. Problem is they're using the road for their business. That adds to congestion, adds to traffic. Some items are being confiscated. Um, like I said before, they have cleared these areas before, so everyone's well aware of the rules. So far, nobody's come out to move this stuff. Uh, they've actually been here quite a long time. I'm surprised nobody's done it. Uh, but if they don't want to move it, that's fine. The cyber clearing team can just confiscate it, put it on the back of their truck. And you can see the cyber clearing team are now taking away some of that bamboo. If you ask these guys, do you like confiscating stuff? Most likely the answer is no but their job is to clear the sidewalks and if they keep clearing and clearing and clearing and obstructions keep coming back they have no choice but to start confiscating stuff they're signaling this tricycle to pull over now so casual eating his food while he says no 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 license since the driver said he doesn't have a license they will be impounding the vehicle and there's another tricycle over here again top of Balintawak driver couldn't show a license so this one's also being impounded you can see the sidewalk clearing team is still working down here trying to clear the sidewalks the rain is really coming down uh, just to give you an idea look at how much water is flooding into the sewer here uh, no doubt also full of trash look at all this trash here it's obvious where it came from but who are the people cleaning it up the MMDA the thing is as the team go along here and push all the marketplace back uh, so they can clear the sidewalk I see so many of the same faces the same obstructions uh, the reality is that unless there's some kind of penalty of a confiscation or a ticket they just really as soon as you leave they're gonna put it back out again most people here is a guy riding with no helmet sometimes people will say oh I'm just going to the market I don't need a helmet the reality is that an accident could happen anywhere. So he had a helmet the whole time but wasn't wearing it. They will issue a ticket because at the time of riding he wasn't wearing the helmet. The driver of this bike has already handed over his license so they're just writing out a ticket now. The driver of this one has also handed over his license so they're just writing out the ticket now. Here's a motorcycle, two riders, no helmets. The driver's handed over his license so they'll just write out a ticket now and he'll have to push the bike until he gets a helmet. And you can see how long that lasted. As the team moved further down the road, many obstructions are already back on the sidewalk. Literally like minutes, minutes only. 